Hello fellow tankers, this is Dauntless, and for today's episode of Two Cents, I wanted to show you guys exactly how you can download and install XVM, as well as how to activate it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to YouTube and type in Quickie Baby XVM and hit search. Now whatever version of tanks you're using, make sure that that's in the video, and go ahead and click that video. Once that video is up, the XVM link will be down here in the description. So if you click on that, it will take you over to Mediafire and it will allow you to download. And I've used this for years. It's completely safe. I wouldn't hesitate to download it. Don't worry too much about viruses or anything like that. Again, Quickie Baby is very reliable. There are literally thousands of people using his XVM. So once the, uh, the file is done downloading, click this little arrow here and do show in folder. And this will bring this uh, window up your downloads. And you can see I already have one downloaded from previously, but I'm going to show you guys how you can use it. So double click on the mod pack that you just downloaded and it will show you these three different files. Now what you're going to want to do is highlight all of them, right click, hit copy. And then to find your ResMod folder, you're going to go down to your local drive or local disk, which is going to be your C drive in most cases. And then you're going to go to games, world of tanks, and then you're going to find your ResMod folder. Now once you're in your ResMod folder, it's going to show you all the different updates that have been in the game currently since you started playing, as well as some of the other mods that you may have installed. So find a blank spot and right click and do paste. And this is going to take a little bit because there are a lot of items in this folder. It's important not to dump all the contents inside of 9.17 or whatever version you're playing, but on the outside of that folder because there are elements to that folder that need to go onto the outside. And I already have six cents, I'm sorry, I already have XVM, so there's going to be a lot of things that I already have, but I'm going to go ahead and replace. And if you have previous versions of XVM, you're going to have to do this as well. X, the XVM website is going to be www.modxvm.com and if you go ahead and sign in this is going to take you to wargaming.net and you're going to hit continue to sign in for those of you that uh, you might have to put your email address and your world of tanks information in but it's completely safe and once you're in this screen what you're going to want to do is there's going to be a button right here that says activate. I already have it activated and so it's just going to be prolonged for me. And then also update statistics. So I would click update statistics which will make your stats as uh, recent as they are. And then hit activate or in my case prolong. And this will give you two weeks of XVM and you'll have to come here every two weeks and activate this. But then once you're in World of Tanks it will uh, now be activated and you'll be able to use it. And XVM, if you are interested, has different settings, which you can find here. This will show you the different stats that you can see in battle. It'll show you a chance to win, which I personally don't use. It'll show you the different kinds of efficiency or win eight that you can use, the rating system. Uh, it can show you all the clans, flags, etc. There's a lot of different things. I usually keep it set to the default settings, but this is completely up to you. And I do play with win eight. Anyway guys, that's my guide for how to install XVM. Hopefully you found it simple enough. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.